So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically upload assets in Canva from a table record. Let's say you are getting multiple images from multiple sources and you are adding all of those images with some file name in a table database just to manage your data. Now you want to upload these images as assets in your Canva account as well. But the manual process of uploading each and every image is very repetitive and time consuming. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, we just have to add the image as a new record in a table and automatically the same image with the same file name will be uploaded in our Canva account. And after uploading the image in Canva, every image will get a unique job ID or a design ID. So the unique design ID will be updated in the Airtable database as well for the same image. In this way, furthermore, you can set up some different automations with the same details and use these images in your different Canva automation to create your post as well. Now, if you want to learn how you can automate this particular process, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is the table which I've created using Airtable. Now in this table, I'm adding the file name over here and also I'm uploading the image as an attachment in the same table as well. Now I want that whenever I add an image with the file name over here, I want to add that same image as an asset in my Canva account as well. Now to do this, we have to connect our A table base with Canva and we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Pavli Connect to do so. Now to access Pavli Connect, you just have to go to the description of this video and you will get the free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. After coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow. So just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name it as a table to Canva. Then just select the folder of the Pavli Connect account in which you want to set up this automation and click on create. Now as we click on create here you can see the automation workflow will open in front of us. And in this workflow you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first we are going to connect our Airtable database with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new record is added with the image and file name in Airtable, automatically the same details will be received inside Pavli Connect. After that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the same image to Canva and upload that image as an asset in our Canva account. And after uploading the asset, uploading the image in Canva as asset, we will get the design ID. We are going to update the same design ID back in our Airtable database in the same row as well automatically. So let's see how it is done. Here in our trigger window in Choose App, search for Airtable. Just select it. After selecting Airtable in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new record. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Airtable account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Airtable button. Then after that, here in this pop-up window, we will just scroll down and click on add basis. And here we have to select the basis for which we want to give access to Pavli Connect. So I want to give access to all the current and further basis of my Airtable account. So I'm selecting this and click on grant access. As we click on grant access, here you can see our Airtable account will get connected but Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the base name. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the bases which I have created in my Airtable account. Out of all of this, the base in which we have created this table over here is named as social media post. So I will just search for the same base over here, social media post. Here it is, just select it. After selecting the base, here it is asking us for the table. So in this space, you can see I have created four different tables, but the new record from which particular table we want to receive inside Pavli Connect, we have to select it. So in this drop down below of table, you can see all the four tables which we have in this space. And out of all of them, we have this table over here named as images for Canva. And we want basically the new records or new images from this table. So we have selected it. After selecting this, here you can see when we will click on this save and send test request button, the details of the last record, the most recent row of data which we have added in Airtable, will be received inside Pavli Connect. 
But before doing that, let's read this important note over here, which says to capture the trigger response for the action new record, you will first need to create a field in your table schema with the field name created and the field type set to created time. So after creating our table of our choice, at last we have to add a field, add a column in our A table database. The name of this field should be created over here and the field type should be created time. This will automatically add the date and time at which this record will be created and it will help Pavli Connect to segregate new records with old records. So that's why it's important to add this field at last. After adding this field and adding a record over here, let's click on this save and send test request button. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response. In this response, you can see the details of the same record. Here you can see the image URL and this is the image URL of the same image which we have uploaded over here. So you can see this is the image which I have added as an attachment in a table and this is the URL of the same image. We will just open it in a new tab and yes, you can see we have the same image. Then after that, we will scroll down. You can see the size, the dimensions of the image as well. We have the name of the same image as well. We have the file name and then the name of the image which we have given over here, Fox reading a book, as you can see over here, the same name is also received. Means the details, the data of the same image, same media is received inside Pavli Connect. So the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to upload the same image from a table which we have received as an asset in Canva. So we will just scroll down, come to this action step and here in choose app, search for Canva over here. Just select it. After selecting Canva in action event from the drop down, select the action event as upload asset. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Canva account with Pavli Connect. And in this connection, just click on this connect with Canva button. Then you can see this pop-up window will appear in front of us. And it is basically asking us the client ID and client secret from our Canva account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this client ID and client secret. For that, just click on this learn more button in the help text and we will open it in a new tab. It will take you to a page on our forum. And at this page, you can see a step-by-step -step guide that how you can basically create your Canva account. You can connect your Canva account with Pavli Connect. So to connect the Canva account, first we have to go to the Canva developer portal. And at this page, you will get the link of the Canva developer portal as well. Just click on this link and this is where you will reach. After coming to this page, just go to this your integration section. And here you can see a list of all the client ID and client secret which we have generated in our Canva account. To create a new one, click on this create an integration button, select the integration type as public, select I agree and click on create integration. Now before doing this, let me tell you one more important thing which is mentioned in the documentation as well. That to access the Canva developer portal and to generate the client ID and client secret, you have to ensure that the multi-factor authentication is activated in your Canva account. And you can just go to the settings section of your Canva account to activate it as well. After coming here, we have to give this integration a name. Let's say I'll name it as EA table upload assets. So we can't give this my big name. So I'll just name it as a table. So this will be the name of the integration. Then you can see in credentials, the client ID is generated. Click on this generate secret button and the client secret is also created. But before using this client ID and client secret to make the connection, first we have to go to the scope section over here and we have to select all the scopes mentioned over here as well. And this exact same step is also explained in the documentation too. So in the documentation, you will get a step-by-step -step guide that what you are supposed to follow. After selecting the scopes, we have to go to this authentication section. So we'll go to authentication and here we have to enter the redirect URL over here. In this documentation itself, you can see this callback URL. We will just copy this callback URL from here and paste it over here. And after doing this, let's go to configuration. And after coming to configuration, copy this client ID from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Then after that, copy this client secret and paste it over here as well. And after entering these details, just click on save. Now, as we click on save here, you can see in this pop-up window, our account is detected. We will just scroll down and click on allow. And as we click on allow, we will see our Canva account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, it is basically asking us two things, file name and URL. 
here in the field of file name we have to give this asset this file a name that which we are uploading in our canva account and here we have to enter the url the link of the image or the file which we want to upload as an asset so these are the file formats image formats in which we can upload it on canva and here in file name what we have to do we have received file name and file url from a table in the trigger step so here from trigger step responses we have to basically send this url the image link of the file over here to our canva action step to this action step over here and also from here we are going to send the file name as well we have entered the file name in our a table database we have to basically send the response of the same file name to the canva action step and to do this we are going to use a process called mapping and the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field and here in this drop down you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from a table out of all of these responses select the response of file name and it will be mapped then here in file url just click here and from the drop down select the response of file url and map it as well after mapping both of these details just click on save and send test request now when we click on save and send test request here you can see we are going to receive some response over here and the response is received and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the image which we have added in our a table database that image is now started uploading or adding as an asset in our canva account and this is the job id this is basically the design id the unique id of that particular asset as well so let's check it we will just go to a canva account and after coming to our canva account i'll just start with a new image over here let's say i'll just create an instagram post to check the uploaded asset so this is a new design i'm creating over here let's go to upload section and yes here you can see this is the exact same image which we have uploaded which we have added in a table is now uploaded as an asset in our canva account this means this action step is working perfectly fine now after uploading this image as an asset what we want to do this is the asset id this is a design id we have to basically upload this same asset id over here in our a table database as well for that just click on this add action step button over here and in choose app we are going to search for a table once again a table after selecting a table in action event from the drop down select the action event as update record because we just want to update the record over here then just click on connect and because we have connected our a table account with public connect in the previous step we don't have to make a new connection you can just select the existing connection and click on save and as we click on save here you can see our a table account will get connected with public connect once again here in base name from the drop down we are going to search for the same base over here social media post and then in table name we are going to select the same table as well so from this drop down select images from canva after selecting the table name and base name it is going to ask us for the record id that in this table in which particular record in which particular row we want to update the data so we have received the record id we want to add the design id the asset id in front of the same image as well so we have received the record id from the trigger step response so here it is the record id over here so from trigger step responses we are going to map the response of the same record id over here in this a tables update record action step just turn this mapping button on and clear the default response and then from the drop down from a table responses select this response of id and it will be mapped in this way in the same row we are going to add the design id in which we have added that particular image over here then it is asking us file name and image so we don't want to update both of these details but we just want to update the design id just click on this field and from the drop down from canva upload asset responses select and map this response of job id and then just click on save and send test request and as we click on save and send test request here you can see we are going to receive some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the job id which we have added over here which we have received from canvas upload asset action is now added in the same row in a table so let's check it we'll go to our a table database and yes here you can see the design id is added over here this means the automation workflow which we have created using public connect this automation is working perfectly fine now after setting up this automation let's test this automation workflow once I'll go to a table and we are going to add another image over here. So I'll just click on this plus button over here. Let me just upload the image first. I'll just upload the image from my system. I have this image named as dogs. So this is the image which I'm adding. Let's click on upload file 
and this file, this image will be added as an attachment in my Airtable database. Then let me enter a file name as, for example, dogs in the garden. You can basically give any name in any image as per your choice. Now, after adding this, we will see within 10 minutes, this data will be captured by Pabli Connect and automatically this image will be uploaded in our Canva account within 10 minutes as an asset. And it basically takes 10 minutes of time because the connection between Airtable and Pabli Connect is a polling based connection. And in this step of connection, Pabli Connect will check for new records, new images in our Airtable database every 10 minutes. So let's wait for 10 minutes over here. Okay, so we have successfully waited for 10 minutes. Now let's check our Canva account whether that image is uploaded as an asset or not. We'll go to Canva, we'll go to upload section over here. Let me clear this image and we'll just refresh it once. And yes, here you can see the same image of two dogs which we have added in our A table base over here. The same image is uploaded as an asset in our Canva account. Also, the design ID, the image ID is also updated in our Airtable database as well, as you can see over here, that too automatically. This means this automation which we have created using Pabli Connect, it is working perfectly fine and we have tested this automation in real time as well. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And also one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Pabli Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.